Hello and welcome to yet another experience on the podcast The Iron Man Experience a podcast about society culture art entertainment movies sports and cricket in particular we are covering the T20 World Cup in Australia and this is episode 4 lessons learned ladies and gentlemen boys and girls sit back relax for this slow burn podcast to understand what are the lessons learned from the India Pakistan match what do we do now given the fact that we are going to meet netherlands today and some of the easier relatively easier teams as we move forward what are the mistakes to avoid and ensure we get a place in the finals you know when we think about our previous match with pakistan what do you remember you remember it's a blur but what you remember is the heart pumping the chest thumping the ground fisting the adrenaline pumping and everything seems so good it's like you're excited you're jumping your heart beats are up and you are the dopamine is just off the charts right and you're feeling wow we just almost won the world cup but guess what the day after you realize no it was just a league match <laughs> the world cup is far far away historically we have won many a league matches but we have failed to make it to the finals we have failed to win the finals in the previous edition we failed to make it to the semis so what lessons do we learn the day after given the fact that there is so much of heightened expectation from team india at all times especially in icc tournaments now we've got to figure out what are the three things we need to do to ensure that history does not repeat itself from say at least the last world cup and so number one is yes we won the match but it's important to acknowledge reality so what is the reality we huffed and puffed we messed up our top order batting we abysmally were almost on the brink of losing 35 for 4 or 31 for 4 that was not a position to come back or recover and as brilliant as mr kohli's knock was it also lets you know that the first four overs after the 31 for 4 when mr kohli and mr pandya were batting they were exceedingly difficult we were not able to negotiate spin and spin from mr shadab and mr nawaz i, I don't know if you want to call them world class legendary spinners just as yet and why do i use that term is because when a top class batsman plays against a top class bowler then there is a hard match think of mr sachin tendulkar versus mr murli tharan or mr shane warne not able to negotiate those kind of spinners or bowlers is probably understandable but not able to negotiate mr nawaz and mr shadab they are clearly not in the same league and so here you are it, you know arguably the best batsman in the world and here is a new rookie bowler and you struggle and um, you eventually get over it that's that's another matter but it's something to think about why are we not able to read spin it was not like a rank turner it was not like what mr akshar patel did to the english team in ahmedabad it was not like that kind of rank turner which is spiting you know cobras and you know bumping uh, the ball r- rising up to your waist height it was just a regular green top pitch and we are not able to read off the hand so if mr rashid khan comes to bowl we will struggle clearly because he has the additional reps on the ball and the pace on the ball and it just keeps darting in so somewhere i i think th- the biggest lesson learned is we have to negotiate the slow bowlers the spinners much better than we did before and if that requires a separate practice then that's what we do we tend to fare better with fast bowlers okay so that's one angle the second angle is of course the top order mr kl rahul mr rohit sharma mr surya kumar yadav big match big moment big score that is the expectation of course nobody is doubting your talent ability your cricketing sense everything 
but especially mr rohit sharma i think it is time that he plays this big innings you know this thumping innings yes it could be against uh, netherlands for all you care but you want him to play this big innings in the semis or in the finals where you know it will do wonders to his confidence just like the last match would have done to mr virat kohli's confidence somewhere i think he's making the same mistakes technically he's trying to hit the ball too hard too soon instead of his classical ability which was play late and then be very still i'm sure there are smart people advising mr rohit sharma about this none of us need to really remind him about it he knows this the question and what baffles me is why are we not seeing it on the field at the park what is the problem is it the mind is too crowded the hand eye coordination is missing is it because he's not fit enough i don't know i've been saying this for last few episodes that i do notice that he's put on a little more weight i don't know if that is affecting his fitness on the field if it doesn't then it doesn't but it seems to me that he's struggling likewise mr kl rahul how many times will you get bold in a similar fashion you can't be like a deer in front of a flashlight you know you just totally oh my god how did this happen it actually reminds me of mr vvs lakshman getting bold off i think it was shoye bakhtar or i don't know whenever he used to get bold he had this expression written on his face how did that happen this is not supposed to happen <laughs> you know and so mr kl rahul has somewhat a similar expression like absolutely you know bamboozled in his mind like oh this is not supposed to happen he's too good a player too talented a player to let this run for a very long time and i know he's returning back from injury or layoff or what have you but again the top order batsmen have to give the middle order batsmen some time to breathe and that's the reason of their existence you cannot keep getting out in the last 10 innings if or 15 innings if you just score in one innings is that the average we are settling for is that what we really want or do we want at least 5 or 6 innings in 10 or 15 innings where you are scoring well if you think of hayden marsh if you think of uh, some of the previous greatest and best openers and i know they were mostly in uh, odis but the consistency of seeing off the new ball is their core job function and if that means in 5 overs you don't go hammer and tongs and get to 80 and just score 60 or 50 then that's what it is i mean you play to the occasion right you don't play to the gallery and somewhere i think both mr sharma and mr kl rahul need to have this switched on from ball one mindset where i have to be more agile i know what is coming across that 22 yards 19 yards and uh, it is not not something they have not seen before or scored off before so i think it is to do with having mental clarity likewise for mr surya kumar yadav yes you are a 360 player and people are raving about you very happy for you but you know what here is the pressure situation you have to stand up when it matters the most yes bilateral series was good scoring those 117 odd runs in england was fabulous all that is history what matters is what you do at the world cup or global events key matches crucial moments you have to make a stamp of authority that you are the swag man you are the person which bowlers shit bricks to bowl to and if that means you go to again you know take it easy in the first two three overs of your existence at the crease then that's what you do why is it so difficult right these are you have to understand and respect the pitch you have to give some respect to the bowler at least when your eye is setting in and you are in your early 30s so you have another 3 or 4 years where your hand eye coordination has to be right up there after that it's going to be back to your uh, solid technique which will get you going but for now you are the prime time you are it's like sunday night prime time zone of your career like 30 to 33 34 in a batsman's career is the best time of your life so do not let these opportunities go i know you don't you're not doing it on purpose clearly nobody does that on purpose I get that but somewhere you've got to put mind over matter right 
likewise if you go further down mr hardik pandya you're trying to hit the ball too hard why are you trying to hit the ball too hard you have this natural ability to stay still and hit the ball a fair way the thing is, is what i noticed from the last match that you were trying to hit the ball too hard too soon and not reading the pace of the pitch and that's where you missed the ball and nicked off and got uh, got caught moving on mr dk absolutely you have done wonders in the past and you are under tremendous pressure i get that but being aware somewhere the way you got out as if like yes you know you expect that when you miss the ball you will topple over you it almost came appeared as it was like an after after thought like oh i missed the ball it hit the um, keeper behind i have to put the bat uh, now i have to try and attempt to get back into the crease that thought process has to be instantaneous the moment you miss the bat your back leg has to stretch as much as possible after stretching if you still fall short that is different but it can't be like oh i missed the ball now i have to turn around and get back into the crease you lost like two and a half three seconds by which time the keeper has collected the ball and dismissed you it's almost like a not even a stumping it's like a run out so somewhere you switched on switched on be in the moment not think too much about everything else and you do that exercise that ritual where you sit across and get your focus back well if that requires you to do an extra 3 seconds or 5 seconds then that's what you do but again be in the moment and one of your reasons of success has been that you've not over been overwhelmed with the occasion and scored despite all odds on to the bowlers mr ravi chandran ashwin you have steel balls <laughs> this is unbelievable of you to have left that ball outside the leg stump that was incredible that just transcended cricketing instinct if you will and if you did that by design and you were actually reading the trajectory of the ball brilliant but somewhere you do stand out as the odd man out in the fielding department it is becoming a real challenge you are not chasing the ball fast enough you have dropped a couple of catches you just seem so sluggish is it in the mind or is it in the body because if it is in the body it can be fixed if it is in the mind it can't be fixed right basically somewhere you give the impression that you are not convinced about chasing the ball you are too intelligent to run like a horse to the boundary it's like a go through the motions t20 cricket especially is not a sport anymore to go through the motions you have to charge at every single ball every single time if that means you get exhausted in the process injured in the process then so be it it is much better to be exhausted in victory than be comfortable in defeat right so please and your bowling i know not all tracks are spin friendly but can i dare say and please don't take offense if you ever listen to this can you dare take a cue from mr rashid khan's bowling mindset i know you guys bowl different things but from a mindset standpoint and you've previously tried a whole bunch of things you need you bring in the mind games in play sometimes it's important to realize that the bounce and the revs beat the batsman and somewhere i feel that that's not consistent enough you do bowl a couple of good deliveries and then maybe you try too hard to do something too different whereas the need of the hour would be to just bowl the same delivery because the batsman is expecting you to do something different but if he f- finds that you did the same thing chances are you could get him out so all i'm saying is it's a mix and match thing sometimes having one predictable over doing the same thing could get you a wicket and it's a slower version of mr james and anderson if i could draw analogy there but other than that you are a great cricketer no two ways about it and should have not been messed around with in the first place but if that is a mind thing that is bothering you please please keep it aside for this world cup it is far more important for team india to win the cup than worry about what has happened in the past it was anyways not in your control so let go of it if at all that is something that is worrying you in the mind mr ashdeep singh man you've just shown amazing temperament can i just 
unbelievable man you deserve all the pat on the back all the claps but lesson learned you have to remember to bowl more yorkers you have to ensure that your your pace has to go up a couple of notches a couple of yards then you become unplayable right if 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 your pace goes up in into 140s why well, sorry 145s or thereabouts you will be absolutely unplayable but i completely salute you to keep your you know marbles intact after the asia cup encounter and this is the price we pay for being in national lim- limelight and so i guess you learned the lesson very early you are, would be a very uh, different bowler now very similar to something that happened to mr mohammad siraj right how what he did in um, ipl and then what he did in australia kind of completely turned him around his mindset and i still think he warrants a place in the team uh, but uh, for you arshdeep if you have got a chance to open india's attack and i that couldn't be any more better and bigger right mr mohammad shami i just love you man <laughs> you are just an amazing bowler you have to just ensure that you get switched on from ball one somewhere you are like this esd bike which takes some time to get warmed up maybe somebody should just ruffle you up a little bit so that you come with some unplayable deliveries you know that right arm uh, round the wicket into the pads i don't know that that's something you can probably excel in little more you know it's like doing these unconventional things and you've got the pace you absolutely got the pace and if you can consistently do that enough bowl that many more full length deliveries you are let some of them go for fours that's fine but people have a big problem playing such darting in swinging yorkers that's global right so make the most of it finally mr bhuvneshwar kumar i have a lot of respect for you mr bhuvneshwar but you are struggling you are struggling mentally there's no shortage of skill there's no shortage of talent you sometimes almost come across a bit too tentative you're bowling short at 125 131 that's not going to get you across in t20 cricket you've got to keep up the pace and the swing it's not one in lieu of the other of course if there is absolutely massive swinging conditions like that in england then you can probably still get by 135 1137 but you've got to get beyond 140 i think that's slowly becoming the benchmark of fast bowlers and you have previously you know really struggled in this 19th over or overs under pressure and that's not a reputation you want to build or settle uh, with the opposition beyond a point in time right you've got to have this 119th over in a crucial match where you take you know two or three wickets and just win the match for the country and that will get regain your confidence back i often wonder why have you lost the confidence in the first place or have you is it because of the fitness is it because of the mindset it is is it because of something that is clouding are you overthinking everything i don't know uh, as a spectator from the outside we can only guess that much by your body language but it does come across as very tentative it comes across and and that translates to the batsman forget how you look to me or any other people but if you start looking intimidated to the batsman then even if you bowl a great delivery that could you know jeopardize the whole cause and we are headed towards a semi or a finals kind of a situation people should just be absolutely you know uh, what's the right word they should hate see to see you bowl because you're not this you think of how josh hazelwood kind of bowls you're in the same mold right you may not take wickets but it's just terrible it's like glen makara terrible bowl consistently at the same pace same line and you just can't get out of the way that's your core strength that you have this unbelievable control but in this 19th over when you are put under the pump somewhere i think your mind messes with you 
So talk to MSD if required, <laughs> you know. And there are enough people. Mr. Rahul Dravid is um, a great uh, calming effect, I'd imagine. And so I think it's to do with settling the mind more than uh, you know changing your technique or uh, line and length. I think once you get sorted with that, you will be a much more dangerous and effective bowler. That's more or less about it. I kind of, I don't know if you are going to play the same team, but these were the, some of the learnings that I observed from the previous match when each of them was put under some kind of pressure or the other. And while Netherlands is not going to be this pushover, easy to go team, we are expected to win this match clearly. But moving forward, we have to win matches as a team where we make a statement that oh my god these guys have gotten momentum now i think all your oppositions are thinking post the india park match that team india is in mojo mode it's got the momentum now unless someone comes up with absolute unbelievable out of the syllabus kind of a performance they cannot beat you the question is do you believe the same on that note i hope you all enjoyed listening to this experience as much as i enjoyed sharing it with you if there are thoughts comments suggestions any other ideas or anything that i missed out please 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 leave a message below comment below share your thoughts reach me on my social media handles on twitter and facebook which is hashtag ionism and if you have the time there is a poll attached to this podcast take some time out and see if you can answer the poll Till we meet again, stay well, stay safe and get your A game to work. This is your host Ayan and you are listening to the Ayan Man Experience. Peace out.